fire guard, got him, quarter blades clear and untied. Yep, they are. Fuel boost, fuel boost. Fuel boost, fuel boost. Start switch, press and hold. All right, looking for 18, and then introduce fuel or when it peaks. Right. Then watch Keep it tip. close eye on the temperature, yep. yep. Clear. Check, check, check. All right, coming on, clear blades. What would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing as a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. What do you want to do? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. And uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing. Which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is you could eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something, to be really with it. Somebody's interested in everything. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others will. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on doing things you don't like and to teach your children to follow in the same track. See, what we're doing is we're bringing up children and educating them to live the same sort of lives we're living in order that the, they may justify themselves and find satisfaction in life by bringing up their children, to bring up their children to do the same thing, so it's all wretch and no vomit. It never gets there. So, therefore, it's so important to consider this question, what do I desire? So, Bill 206, retired Kyle in the back, good friend Jonas, What's up? and we got Josh. So, what we're about to do, we skipped all the boring stuff for you. If you want to see it, we'll show it later. We have pre-flighted. Right. We have put some weight in the back. Right. You don't know what's there. It could be transmissions. Could be all sorts of stuff. All kinds of stuff. It's wrapped up good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ask questions. Pushed her out. <laughs> We've undone the wheels, right. shut the garage. Put 10 gallons of fuel in just because we're kind of close to a reserve. Right. Uh, we want to make sure we have plenty. Just There was weather earlier, but we're not going five minutes down the road to Cleveland to get more fuel. Right. Is there anything I've missed in what we've done so far? 
No. Mounted the GoPro. Oh, talk about what you put in the helicopter. Put the uh, Garmin 796 with the GDL 52. So we've got traffic weather, XM weather, and ADSB weather. Yep. So a couple things about the helicopter. She's experimental. That's exhibition aircraft. We have not mounted anything new to it. It's all just ram mount, kind of like suction cupped in. So we're going to have live traffic and live weather. A three minute delay yeah. weather. And uh, we're going to depart, go say bye to the sun. And then Jonas is giving me a training flight. So this will go in my log book right. as some good training hours. We're getting some mountain training in the day. So we're expecting some sheer winds, some turbulence kind of stuff over the mountains, uh, less visibility than normal if weather comes in. Right. And then also we have some terrain avoidance training. And, uh, and of course, aircraft performance is going to be affected by the altitudes and yeah. things like that. So. And we're flying under max gross, but we're getting closer to our max gross weight. Right. We have a couple hundred pounds to spare. So it's good for me to for some torque management in this flight because we normally fly light. So that's what we're doing. We're going to start up. Josh will film that. We'll switch to the GoPro and then we'll go buzz by the house and say bye to Parker because he'll go crazy if we don't and then <laughs> get fuel. And then we're going to go land in Knoxville and do a 40 hour loop. We'll see you guys there. If you have questions, comments, we'll know more about the helicopter, more about us, let us know. And uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. Stay cool. Cool.
right, so Joe uh, is back getting the transmission. Came into uh, Ceruleum here at uh, Greenville, Spartanburg, or Greer. And uh, Jonas has the bird fired up. Not that one, that's the ME2. He's got the uh, Bell 206 ready to go. We're gonna go pick Joe back up at, uh, at the guy's house that's building the transmission. up a few. Fifty bucks for a water. Yeah, two, waters. Hi Josh, you getting excited? I'm stoked man, I'm ready to go get my plane. So, we woke up, I didn't know it was an hour behind me, your phone was busy like 6.30, I'm like, why is my phone so busy? We're an hour delayed, I don't know if you knew yeah. that or not, but. Yeah, it came quick. We stayed up kind of late. A little bit. Okay, so, he's gotta be excited, we're like, what, 20 minutes away? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, so we don't have Uber, gonna grab some breakfast, gonna see the plane for the first time in five months? Five months, yeah. First time in five months, so he's seen pictures, it's kind of like little teaser photos, but nothing like seeing it yeah. done the real thing. Got to figure out how to work it all too. So we're gonna sit there on the ground, do some run-ups, play with some things. I'm sure we're gonna show him stuff. Hopefully, there's some other cool planes there. We we'll get this thing in the air, do some test flights, yeah. and then start boogieing towards home, or maybe Indiana to go plane shopping. We're not sure yet. That's, that's the plan. We're still we'll trying. We'll see what time it is. Us. See you guys shortly, and stay tuned. For Well, ladies and gents, there she is, Echo Delta, fresh with a new panel. Here's Josh. It was first in place. Well, he's smiling. He ain't even seen it yet. So, old girls do for paint, windows, and interior next. Isn't that right, Josh? Isn't that your plan? Oh, he's already, he's already looking at him going. He's, he's ready to go. So, we'll do a formal pre-flight here in a second. We'll... So, we'll see how this goes. Walk here out and show you what we're looking at.
guys, that'll do it for this week's episode. We wanted to give a little sneak peek into the aviation world, what Joe's been up to here recently. He's got a lot of flying experience. He's flown a lot of different vehicles. Vehicles. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's flown a lot of different vehicles. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot more on it going forward. Vehicles. A big shout out to Joe setting up the GoPros and, and getting these shots and some really cool time lapses. That helps me so much. Fortunately, I can't be everywhere at the same time, but I promise you're gonna see a lot more of this aviation stuff. As always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you're notified. So you know whenever we're dropping a new video, we, we try to stick to our schedule every Tuesday and every Friday. So hopefully you're watching this on Friday. If not, it doesn't matter when or where you're watching. We really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more videos.